Okay, in our second module, we're going to take a look at atoms and elements. And we'll begin our discussion of atoms and elements by talking a little bit about elements and what are known as chemical symbols. So what defines a substance as an element? Elements are pure substances that cannot be separated into simpler substances by ordinary laboratory processes. Essentially, they are the building blocks of matter. What I usually give an example is I say, okay, water, H2O, is not an element. Why? Because if I really push conditions, I can break water down into hydrogen and oxygen. And therefore, because I can make, or I can transform in the water into something simpler, therefore water is not an element. What really defines something as an element is that it cannot be broken down into, or cannot be separated into anything simpler. Now, neither the hydrogen or the oxygen can be broken down into anything simpler. And as we'll about to learn, and we'll learn in this section, hydrogen and oxygen are examples of elements. So water is not an element because water can be broken down into simpler substances. However, the hydrogen and the oxygen separately are elements because they cannot be broken down into simpler substances. And elements are the building blocks of matter. So where do the names of elements come from? Well, they come from many different things. They come from the names of planets. They come from the names of mythological figures. They come from the names of minerals. They come from the names of colors. They come from geographic locations. And they come from famous people as well. Um, do you have to memorize or know the names of every single element that's present? No. I'll be honest, I don't even know the names of all the different elements. As you will see, there are some that you will just sort of learn automatically because you see them over and over and over again. And those are the ones that you'll sort of commit to memory and come out of this course with. Now, more times than not, when we refer to an element, a lot of, we don't usually refer to the element by name. We usually refer to the element by its chemical symbol. So chemical symbols represent the name of an element. And chemical symbols can consist of either one letter or two letters. There's no sort of set rule for when there's one letter versus two letters. However, whether there's one or two letters, the first letter is always capitalized. And if there is a second letter present, the second letter is lowercase, okay? So whether there's one or two letters, the first letter is capitalized. If there is a second letter, the second letter is lowercase. Now, many chemical symbols are, are, are pretty obvious for what elements they represent. For example, C is the chemical symbol for carbon, N is the chemical symbol for nitrogen, AL is the chemical symbol for aluminum, MG is the chemical symbol for magnesium. However, there are some chemical symbols that essentially, in a way, are not so obvious. For example, when you take a look at iron, Iron doesn't have the chemical symbol of I or IR. Iron has the chemical symbol of Fe. If you take a look at gold, one of my favorite elements, gold doesn't have the chemical symbol of G or GO. Chem gold has the chemical symbol of AU. So in these instances where the chemical symbols don't really look like they directly relate to the name of an element, where do they come from? Well. In these instances, the chemical symbols will come from the Latin names of the element. So for example, gold has a Latin name of aurum, and there's the chemical symbol AU. Silver has the Latin name of argentum, okay? And there's this chemical symbol of AG. Iron, don't know exactly what the Latin name for iron is, but in the two different forms of iron we come across, we have ferric or ferrous, so maybe it comes from ferrum. In either way, whether it's ferric or ferrous, the chemical symbol for iron is Fe. 
So many chemical symbols for elements are obvious, but some like the ones above are not so obvious. And when you have the not so obvious cases, they tend to come from the Latin names of the elements.